हेलो एवरीवन नमस्कार राजकृष्णा दिस साइड एंड वी आर हियर टू सॉल्व वन मोर प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम लिमिट्स लिमिट एक्स टेंडिंग टू ए साइन एक्स बाय साइन ए होल पावर वन अपॉन एक्स माइनस ए सो एज ऑलवेज द फर्स्ट प्रायोरिटी विल बी टू चेक द फॉर्म सो इफ यू पुट एक्स एस ए इट विल बी साइन ए by sign a so that will be 1 and here if you put x as a it will be 1 upon 0 which is infinity so it is 1 power infinity form so whenever you get 1 power infinity form you write the given limit as in e power so e power limit x tending to a next what you do you bring that power down so power comes down so 1 upon x minus a and you subtract 1 from the base so base becomes sin x by sin a minus 1 Fine enough. Basic uh, thing is there. If one power infinity form is there, you write this as e power limit x tending to a. Power comes down. One upon x minus a comes down. Base minus one. Fine. Now let's solve this. So e power limit x tending to a. One upon x minus a this is sin x minus sin a divided by sin a so e power limit x tending to a 1 upon x minus a sin c minus sin d is 2 sin c minus d by 2 cos c plus d by 2 so 2 sin C here is x and d here is a, so x minus a by two and cos of x plus a by two divided by sine. Now. uh what we can do uh we can uh, we know one uh, property or algebra of limits that limit of a product can be written as product of two limits fine so e power i am talking of this we have limit x tending to a f of x times g of x so we can write this as limit x tending to a f of x multiplied by limit x tending to b g of x provided both these limits are defined so now we can write this as e power limit x tending to a i am writing 2 sin x minus a by 2 and this divided by x minus a multiplied by this multiplication is in the power of e only so we have not stepped down multiplied by limit x tending to a whatever was remaining so cos 
x plus a divided by 2 divided by sin a. Now, this 2 I can take down because this is the need of the hour because we need sign something by that thing only. So, e power limit x tending to a this will now become sine x minus a by 2 divided by x minus a by 2 multiplied by now uh, here you can uh, easily put a no problem will be there because this will be cos a plus a cos 2a by 2 that is cos a divided by sin a. So I have put, I have taken the limit in the second one and now I am moving forward. What I can do now, yes, limit x tending to a this thing will give me 1 because whatever is inside sin same thing is in denominator. So this will give me e power 1 times this is nothing but cos a by sin a that is cot a. So final answer which I am getting is e power cot a. So you saw how easy it was to solve this problem. Uh, first thing we uh, checked what form was there. So when you put x as a you will be getting 1 power infinity form fine then whenever you get 1 power infinity form you write that limit in power of e so e power limit extending to a bring this power which is 1 power x minus a 1 by x minus a down and subtract 1 from the base this is the method to solve this type of problem now next uh, we uh, use the CD formula sin C minus sin D is 2 sin C minus D by 2 cos C plus D by 2 fine. Uh, then uh, we know that a limit of a product can be written as product of two limits. So we did the same thing because we know that cos X plus A by 2 divided by sin A will give me any uh, thing constant only because that will be cos a by sin a as you saw in the last and this limit limit x tending to a sin of x minus a by 2 divided by x minus a by 2 this is uh, not going to give us any problem because this will give us 1 so finally what you are getting is e power 1 times cot a so e power cot a so that's how easy uh, this was. Uh, do watch my playlist on limits for more such problems. Thanks and have a nice day.